were on the train to Kashgar from Turkan. Just great music. Where we are is crazy. It looks like the moon outside. I don't know how people like actually live out here. There's nothing growing, um, but we were able to bring our own beer and um, snacks, and there's hot water always everywhere you go in China. So we have noodles for dinner, noodles for dinner, and breakfast, because this is an all-night train. It's an 18-hour train. We left at 5.20 p.m. We're going to arrive tomorrow around noon in Kashgar. The music's good. And Stairfest, because we are the only travelers everywhere we go. So, of course, people are very interested in us, so, you know, Stairfest. It's fine. We're in Kashgar, um, and we arrived today. This is a very colorful um, town. This is the old part. And uh, we're in the Uyghur region, and we're ordering some chicken and some bread that um, looks like it goes into some oil, which sounds amazing. And we're going to eat it at our rooftop hostel with some beer. Welcome to our hostel rooftop. This smells delicious. They put some spices on it. And uh, we're overlooking a main square in Kashgar in the old part of town. This place is being developed all around, but um, this is still an old part of town, and there's a lot of cultures here. And as normal, we are the only foreign travelers in the entire area. Mm. Cumin on everything. I'm standing in front of the Ikkam Mosque. Uh, this is supposed to be the largest mosque in China. It is Friday uh, when they go in the mosque to pray, and they're supposed to, it's supposed to fit like 20,000 people in that mosque. So far, I haven't seen any action, um, but the time difference is, is a situation because this is an autonomous region, which means they don't recognize that they're in China. <laughs> so they have their own time zone. <laughs> So um, to them, it's about 8.30 a.m. to us, Beijing time, which is the time we want to keep on for buses and trains. It's 10.30 a.m. So there's a two-hour difference. It's very interesting. Um, it doesn't really get light here until about 10 a.m., which is 8 a.m. their time, so that makes sense. Uh, this is Kashgar. It is amazing. I love it here. It's easy. It's super chill. Um, and we're going to walk around. We're going to um, go to the old, oldest part where they have some very old um, historic buildings. And um, just we're just walking around Kashgar.
for having a fabulous day at the cash car. They have a market every Sunday. Um, and so we went to the, what's called the bazaar part of the market, which is on one end of town. A lot of goods and um, snack foods and clothing. Oh my God, I got the coolest coat. And uh, we're taking buses around. It's one yawn per bus ride, which is, I don't know, about 15 cents maybe, maybe 30. Uh, and we just stopped in this little Uyghur restaurant on the way to the mausoleum, uh, which we're going to show you guys soon. And we're having some local soup. I'm trying to stay vegetarian because they put mutton in everything, and I'm just not a fan of mutton. And next we're going to take a bus to the other side of the Sunday market, which is the animal market, which is supposed to be pretty lively. And if you hear um, a certain word, you're supposed to get out of the way because all the sheeps are going to be coming through. So we're trying to get into this beautiful mausoleum. Um, it's got a lot of Islamic um, architecture. I think the oldest in China. Um, unfortunately, all around here is what's happening in Xinjiang is the government um, of China is coming in and developing this whole area. So um, it's sad to see all their houses uh, in rubble. But from what I understand, the government is um, giving them money and putting them up in um, cement houses or high rises. So. But um, I can understand why the people, the Uyghur people, are upset because they're totally changing their tradition. I mean, this just looks like a war zone to me, and we can't figure out how to get in. We've been walking around here for about an hour, a bunch of grave sites and people telling us we're going the wrong way. So I guess we're going to give up. Yeah, and it uh, appears that they're saving all their doors, you know. They'll probably end up in some, um, uh, you know import stores in America and selling for a lot of money. I've seen that happen um, in other cultures, so um, I don't know, but they are saving the doors. That's kind of cool. I don't know how many pomegranates it takes to get this juice. <laughs> Probably a lot. Uh, this is a night market in Kashgar. Everything's coming alive. These people sleep a lot, but they do come out at night. Um, and it's lively, and there's vendors with um, both uh, food and um, products to sell. It's an evening in Kashgar. We're looking for food. We're looking for street food um, because we've been doing street food and self catering because that's the way we do it. And um, so we're gonna pick up some street food and actually we have a bottle of wine which these people do not drink. So we're gonna go back to our hostel and, and uh, indulge in some wine and some street food. Mm -hmm.